Tuesday, August 29th, 2023, Morning Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. Good morning, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, the AGNDD Intelli Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in summarizing the news. Without further ado, here are the headlines of the day. U.S. hospital systems reinstate mask mandates amid COVID. Five pre-market insights for Monday's stock market. Florence Welch has emergency life-saving surgery. Florida gas stations report fuel contamination during Hurricane Idalia. Green Day sells Trump mugshot shirt for charity. Aditya L. One mission launches on September 2nd. Eyes roll. Top Aldi snack improves blood pressure, says eating well, and more. But first, let's take a look at this day in history. August 29th in history. On August 29th, 1009, Mines Cathedral experienced significant damage due to a fire. This fire completely destroyed the building on the very day it was being inaugurated. On August 29th, 1219, the Battle of Fariscourt took place during the Fifth Crusade. Today's obituaries. Mike Enriquez, a 71-year-old Filipino television and radio newscaster, has sadly passed away. Throughout his long and successful career in broadcasting, he held various positions and worked for different networks. Enriquez was particularly known for his work on GMA Network, where he served as a consultant and held several important roles. His contributions to the industry were widely recognised and he received numerous awards for his exceptional work. With his passing, an era in Filipino broadcasting has come to an end. James Casey was an American saxophonist who was a member of the Trey Anastasio Band. Sadly, he passed away at the age of 40 due to colon cancer. Pat Corrales was an American baseball player and manager who recently passed away at the age of 82. He had a successful career playing for teams like the Philadelphia Phillies and Cincinnati Reds, and he even won the World Series in 1995. Famous people born on this day. Michelle Indegliocello, a German-American singer-songwriter, was born on August 29, 1968. Throughout her career, she has gained recognition for her wide range of musical influences and has received praise from critics. Indegliocello has been nominated for 11 Grammy Awards and has won one. Additionally, she is credited with playing a role in igniting the neo-soul movement. August 29, 1949, Darnell Hillman, American basketball player. And now on to today's news. General News. According to ABC News, a college student in South Carolina was fatally shot by the police after trying to enter the wrong house. This unfortunate event has been reported as a tragic incident. A student named Nicholas Anthony Donofrio, who is 20 years old and attends the University of South Carolina, was tragically shot and killed after being mistaken for a burglar. This unfortunate event occurred when he accidentally entered the wrong house on his own street. The incident is currently being investigated. Here are five things to know before the stock market opens on Monday, according to CNBC. Stock futures experienced a small rise at the start of the final week of August. Investors were eagerly awaiting more economic data, especially following Fed Chair Jerome Powell's warning about high inflation. Instacart and Clavio both applied for initial public offerings, IPOs, which might encourage other companies to do the same. Meanwhile, China Evergrande Group's stock value plummeted significantly when trading resumed due to its filing for Chapter 15 bankruptcy in the United States. Apple's September event expects six new products beyond the iPhone 15, as reported by McCroomers. Apple is set to hold its annual event, where it is expected to announce the iPhone 15, Apple Watch Series 9, a refreshed Apple Watch Ultra, new cases for iPhone and watch bands, a USB-C case for AirPods Pro, 
USB-C cables that match the colors, and a USB-C cable for data transfer on iPhone 15 Pro models. Moreover, new software updates for various Apple products are also anticipated. The Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, has revealed that the Aditya L1 mission, which focuses on studying the sun, is scheduled to be launched on September 2nd. Deccan Herald reported this news. The mission will carry seven payloads to study different layers of the sun's atmosphere, its magnetic fields and coronal mass ejections, CMEs. The main payload, Visible Emission Line Coronagraph, VLC, developed by the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, will be utilized for studying CMEs and space weather. Business News. How restarting student loan payments could change millions of lives and the economy. 538. The article discusses the impact of the Supreme Court's decision to reverse President Biden's proposal to forgive student loans. This ruling has forced people like Alexa Goins and her partner to confront challenging financial decisions. The resumption of student loan payments in the approaching fall will burden many Americans, potentially straining their household budgets and causing some to risk defaulting on their loans. Bitcoin has experienced a decline and is now below $26,000. Let us take a look at the upcoming price levels to keep an eye on. This information is provided by Barron's. The article discusses how Bitcoin is losing the gains it made over the weekend. Florida has reported fuel contamination at certain gas stations as Hurricane Adalia approaches. This information was reported by the Washington Post. Florida officials have issued a warning concerning a possible extensive fuel contamination in the Gulf Coast region of the state due to human error. Sitco, a major fuel supplier, accidentally mixed diesel and gasoline in a recent delivery. This mistake could cause damage to engines and potentially leave drivers stranded, especially with the impending arrival of Tropical Storm Adalia. Technology News. Pokemon Go Fest, 2023, Global Day One, Special Research, Pokemon Go Hub. The first day of Pokemon Go Fest 2023 global event introduces a special research quest named Fascinating Facets. This quest offers Diancy as a reward but is only available to trainers with tickets. The quest consists of six stages with various tasks and rewards. Deal alert! Apple's 2020 MacBook Air Laptop M1 is currently on sale for a discount of $250. Take advantage of this offer now. Cord Cutters News. Apple's 2020 MacBook Air Laptop M1 is currently on sale, with a discount of $250 from the list price. The laptop is available on Amazon, and it has features like an all-day battery life, powerful performance, super-fast memory, and a stunning display. It is also compatible with all existing apps, including Adobe Creative Cloud, Microsoft 365, and Google Drive. According to Dexerto, Players participating in the 10th anniversary event of FFXI4 have experienced a situation where they are facing a large number of deaths due to older content. Final Fantasy IV Torn is currently celebrating its 10th anniversary with the Moogle Treasure Trove event. In this event, players are given the task of running old content to obtain tombstones. However, some players are finding the Alliance raid Dunscathe to be quite challenging. The first boss, Death Gaze Hollow, is causing a significant number of casualties with its instant kill moves. Sports news. Highlights of the New Orleans Saints versus Houston Texans in the 2023 preseason, specifically preseason week three. Here's the text you requested to be converted for maximum ease of readability for a text-to-speech program. Original text. I went to the store to buy some groceries and then I stopped by the bank to withdraw some cash. Converted text. I went to the store to buy some groceries and then I stopped by the bank to withdraw some cash. Novak Djokovic and Francis TFO recently shared their thoughts in an interview with SportsCenter on ESPN discussing the upcoming 2023 U.S. Open. The text you provided is already in a format that is suitable for a text-to-speech program. It is clear, concise, and does not require any further conversion for maximum ease of readability. Health news. 
according to Eating Well, the number one snack at Aldi for better blood pressure is... Aldi's Simply Nature freeze-dried strawberries are suggested as the best snack for people with high blood pressure due to their low sodium and high fiber content. These strawberries also contain potassium and antioxidants, which are beneficial for the heart. By adhering to the DASH diet, which incorporates snacks like these, it is feasible to successfully control high blood pressure. According to a report by Fox News, multiple hospital systems in the United States have reinstated mask mandates due to the rise in COVID cases. Several hospitals in the United States have implemented mask wearing rules again for patients and staff. This is in response to the rising number of COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. The decision to reinstate these requirements is based on the fact that COVID-related hospitalizations have increased by 21.6% and deaths have risen by 21.4%. It is important to note, though, that these figures are currently lower than the levels observed during the peak of the pandemic. Entertainment News. Green Day is currently selling a shirt with a mugshot of Donald Trump. The reason for this sale is to raise money for the victims of the recent tragedy in Maui. The Independent reported this news. Rock band Green Day is currently selling limited edition t-shirts. These shirts feature Donald Trump's mugshot and are designed to resemble their 1997 Nimrod album cover. The purpose of this sale is to raise funds for charities supporting the Maui fire relief efforts. All the proceeds from the sale will be donated to Greater Good Music, an organization that provides food assistance to individuals impacted by the wildfires in Hawaii. In a surprising revelation, a star from the show Sister Wives, Cody Brown, has referred to Christine Brown as Machiavellian, as reported by an insider. The star of Sister Wives, Cody Brown, described his ex-wife, Christine Brown, as Machiavellian when they first met after she moved to Utah. He openly admits to experiencing anxiety attacks when he passes by their old home that they used to share, and he feels bitter about her leaving. Their divorce, which was called a spiritual union that lasted 25 years, was publicly announced in November 2021. Florence Welch, the talented musician, recently had to undergo emergency life-saving surgery. This unexpected turn of events had serious consequences for her. Florence Welch, the lead singer of Florence Plus the Machine, recently underwent emergency life-saving surgery. The exact nature of the procedure remains undisclosed, but as a consequence, concerts in Portugal and Spain had to be canceled. In her most recent album, Dance Fever, she strives to discover resilience and emotional release. Hope you enjoyed today's AI-generated News Digest Daily, AGNDD, and Telereport. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time to the future of news. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.